They bill themselves as the oldest Cuba solidarity organization in the world. The Venceremo, so We Shall Overcome Brigade, defies the U.S. government ban on most travel to Cuba. And for the past two weeks, 150 Americans got muddy doing agricultural work in the communist country for the 40th year in a row. I feel that it's an obligation for us to exercise our, our right to travel. Gustavo Garo, a 28-year-old social worker from Albany, New York, says he doesn't want to depend on hearsay or the media's view of life on the Forbidden Island. I think that it's really important to get your own perspective and to come here and work and see for yourself. 58-year-old Joe Callahan, a Minneapolis, Minnesota bus driver, is a repeat brigadista, this being his third visit. He hopes President Obama will keep his promise to change U.S.-Cuba policy. We think that uh, the time is ripe for change. There's, there's uh, legislation in Congress that do away with a travel ban that has a lot of support. Like the more than 8,000 Americans who have come on previous brigades, this year's contingent ended their days tired, hot, and muddy, and wondering how they'd be received on their return to the U.S. Monday morning. We're optimistic that uh, we won't have a big problem, no. Um, we're, we're, we think that we're making progress in, in uh, challenging the travel ban. Uh, but we have to prepare. We, can't, uh, we don't want to leave ourselves open to, to any kind of uh, persecution either. Reports from Buffalo, New York say all 150 brigade members walked across the Peace Bridge from Canada without any apparent problems, although as Callahan warned, they could be hit with fines later. Portia Siegelbaum reporting for CBS News from Havana.